Hello, my darlings. Welcome. Today, I'm so excited because I got something beautiful to show you. I'm making a bee DIYs. I'm using a yellow pillow cover that I purchased from Amazon for like $6.99 and I'm gonna use a A-Maker stencil. Look how beautiful it looks. I'm trying to center it in the middle, get my ruler, make sure it's in the middle before I apply the paint, just like so. And now it's ready for painting. I'm using a material paint you can find those paints in Amazon and I'm just applying it with a sponge brush going all over the B stencil design and on the reed design until it's fully covered just like so and you guys should see this paint it have like a sparkly touch to it and it looks so so beautiful the camera cannot show that but I can guarantee you this pillow looks so high-end and I can't believe it that I made it and look how beautiful it came out now for my second pillow also purchased from Amazon I'm gonna use one of those IOD transfer on stickers and make sure it's all centered in the middle before I apply it and now I'm just using the scraper until the whole sticker is on my pillow. Look how cute. Next, I'm using a fabric mud patch for sealing and protection. And that's it. You gotta let me know what do you think about my DIY number one for bee decor. Look how beautiful they came out. So for only $13, I got this high-end, beautiful looking pillows just going close with my camera so you can see all those details on the pillows and I'm really loving it I'm really happy how they both came out those are the signs we also gonna make as well Today, I am so happy that I'm a part of Let's Be Creative collab hosted by these four amazing ladies, Crafty Cove, Missy, Farm Charm Chick, Emily, Six Kids and Glue Gun, Amanda, and Kiki from Kiki's DIYs. All those, my amazing, super good friends, super talented creators. If you haven't visited their channels by now, I wonder what were you waiting for? and on top of that it's gonna be amazing playlist with so many talented creators friends all links will be in my description box with that being said i am going to my diys diy number two i'm using this mesh canva that i got long time ago from hobby lobby and i'm using this beautiful decoupage print that i purchased from my victorian heart I will try to have all the links in my description box if you're interested to purchase them. And now I'm just applying a mud patch and I can decoupage it on my mesh canva. Make sure the whole print is covered and I just try to center it in the middle just like so. It's so easy to work with this paper. No bubbles, nothing. I'm just using my plat roller using more Mod Podge at the edges to make sure it's all covered. And look at this beautiful print. Beekeeping, mysteries beekeeping, and all that beautiful wording and all that print. Now for my frames, 
I'm using these metal ribbons that I finally found them at Dollar Tree. I was looking for those ribbons for a long time. And now I'm trying to measure them. And after that, I'm cutting the edges at 45 degree angle. And I'm just gluing them with a hot glue, just like so. You gotta be careful because this hot glue is not a joke. And I'm just using my scissors so I don't burn myself, just like that. And until it's all fully glued. I'm going on the bottom as well. I cut the 45 degree angles as well. And I'm just gluing it, simple as that, to look like a Victorian old classic art, home art decor. You gotta let me know what do you think about this DIY that I made. To get rid of the extra glue pieces, I'm just using a lighter going all over my ribbon and that's it and look how beautiful vintage it came out I am really loving this bee queen decor for my next DIY I'm making another bee sign this time I'm using a Dollar Tree sign I'm just getting rid of the frame because I'm gonna need that just removing them and now I just flip the other side I made sure the back is covered as well so it doesn't look ugly even if you're gonna put it in the wall make sure the back look nice and neat too adding a mud patch and adding another decoupage print from my Victorian heart and I'll have the links in my description box and now I'm trying to see how my frame piece is gonna look because it's a little bit longer the sign is a little bit longer than the print and I want it to match. So I'm just going all over and now with the cutter I'm measuring what part need to be cut. And after I cut it, now I'm going to glue them back together. Just like that. I'm cutting a little bit of the longer sides as well. And that's it. Now when I glue all back together, now I'm adding these 3D stickers from Dollar Tree to get that beautiful Victorian look for my Queen Bee sign and I think it really looks super super cute you gotta let me know what do you think I love this I am so much in love with this decor for DIY number four I found this beautiful wooden brown basket from thrift store I didn't want it to do anything besides cleaning and I'm going to use this A Makers B uh, stencil prints. I'm using a golden full card paint just like that. I'm using a scraper to make sure the whole print will be applied on my side and using the same stencil on the other side of the basket. And that's about it for this DIY. Super easy and super fancy and super cute. And the combination with brown and then this dark golden print, it came out perfect. For extra detail, I'm adding this beautiful bumblebee decor. I got this from Hobby Lobby for $2. I added some beautiful greeneries and some yellow roses and look how cute it came out i'm really in love with this basket for my diy five and six i'm gonna make these signs i'm using this hexagon sign from dollar tree first i'm applying a yellow paint to cover that print make sure it's all covered just like so and when it's all dry i'm gonna decoupage this beautiful bu napkin I'm measuring it and I'm gonna cut it off adding a mud patch and I'm applying the napkin simple as that as you know I love to decoupage adding that corner as well on the side adding more mud patch and that's it for this sign for the next sign actually this is a piggy bank from Dollar Tree I didn't want it to do anything I'm just adding just a little greenery touch to that white portion. I 
have also added those yellow spheres also from Dollar Tree and I made sure the whole white part is covered because I didn't like how it was made other than that I like everything the B print and the sign what it says I am really loving and the house shape perfect so I'm just covering all with those Dollar Tree greeneries I added another yellow sphere you can make that very high-end looking look how cute now to cover that hole on top I wanted to use some of those ribbons I use this beehive ribbon also from Dollar Tree and that's it also for the other sign I just cover it with a black apple barrel paint and look how high-end they look together you can put it on your tear tray or you can just use it as a decorative piece anyway in your house for DIY number seven I'm using this pot pie pattern pen and I'm using a yellow mesh and a black mesh so what I'm gonna do is throughout the holes I'm just poking my mesh and I'm trying to make loops just like that going all over first with my yellow mesh just like that and we're gonna make a beautiful cute bumblebee for our door the black mesh now I'm going back to the yellow mesh until the whole holes are fully covered is covered I'm tying them together and I'm trying to open up the whole loops going all over so they can look like a ruffles look how cute super easy and super cute wreath you don't need no special instruction to make a wreath like this and it's gonna look so high end at the end For my bee hat, I'm using this plastic sphere from Dollar Tree, it was from the kit section. I split it, I cut it on half and I cover it with this black rope also from Dollar Tree. And I just put it on top of the pie pattern handle and I found those wires, I just twist them around and made them look like a bee's antenna, I glue them on top. I covered them with a the paper as well and also for the bottom I made for the second part of that plastic ball cover it with a rope to make like look like a tail and look how beautiful my bumblebee came out how fancy you gotta let me know what do you think I'm really loving it and it was so super easy to be made and give me your thoughts and this is my final reveal for my bee decor this year I really enjoyed making every piece of this 
I'm really loving the bumblebee queen art decors that I made. Give me your thoughts. Before I let you go to finish this beautiful final reveal, don't forget to check out the amazing playlist and also my beautiful host friends, Emily, Missy, Amanda, Kiki, and all those amazing talented creators in the playlist. And until next time, I'm sending you lots of love, lots of music, positive energy from me to you. Bye-bye.